Well, welcome back. Just getting around to doing this mold deck now. Um, it's a lot of work because, uh, as you can see, everything's so tight. There's really no room left for anything. But um, as you can see in there, that's where the electric clutch um, is going to go. So it's off the main drive of the gearbox. And what I've started to do is I've just lifted the mold deck under. And I've been trying to figure out the best way to use or to get it to lift up and down. So from the body perspective, I want to use the original lever, which you can sort of see there on the right. But what I did is I connected it to a 3 mil stainless steel cable. It goes around a couple of pulleys I made there. And then I've connected it to the mower deck. Um, what you can see there is the handbrake so and the exhaust and everything else is just so tight. So just cutting the stainless, uh, stainless braided uh, wire here to the right length. And then I connect it to the mower. And then I'll do the first sort of test to see if it's actually going to work. I'm going to end up with about uh, 90 mil of lift, maybe slightly more, maybe to 100, which I think is pretty much what comes on a normal mower. Um, so just connecting it up here. I slide that uh, wire into like a, a hollow tube that I made with a couple of grub screws to hold it in. And that uh, should lift that deck up and down. So I've got, as you can see, one front, one rear. I've got a connecting rod to get over to the other side and do the same on the other side. So there'll be four lifting points. So it should work pretty good. Uh, just giving it a go here. Just did one side so you can see it goes up and down. Works really good. Uh, obviously, it's only up and down. It doesn't stabilise it. So I've still got to make some stabiliser bars. But the first challenge is to actually get it to go up and down, which I was struggling to think how to do that given the lack of room. Uh, there's the electric clutch. The challenge I have here, as you can see, the frame is in the way and it's going to hit the V-belt. So I need to cut that away, modify it again. Um, so what I've done is uh, I cut the main frame away, as you can see here. I've had to remanufacture that. Uh, there's the clutch. I need it to be far enough so that I can actually pull that clutch out like you can see here so that the shaft will clear the gearbox and I'll be able to get it out without having to remove the whole gearbox. So there it is there. It's out 30 mil. You can see that where it goes back to the frame, I've scalloped it out here, which does look neat. The reason for that is so it clears the body. Everything's super tight, but it's uh, coming up good. Uh, next stage will be just getting this belt drive to work and finish mounting the cutter. So uh, I think it's all doable, but yeah, a bit more thoughts required. So stay tuned.